Welcome to Automation World's Technology Matters. In this episode, we'll look at a few new automation technologies highlighted recently during PAC Expo Connects, the virtual PAC Expo event that launched in November 2020 and will be accessible online through March 2021 at the URL shown below. So let's start with a look at Beckhoff's Explanar floating tiles for material handling. Now, I first saw this at a show in Europe in 2018, and now it's been introduced in North America at PAC Expo Connects. And basically, the X-Planar system uses planar motor tiles as a base to levitate passive movers at speeds of 4 meters per second. Path planning and collision avoidance are handled in the accompanying TwinCat 3 software. Now, in Beckhoff's demo of the Explainar system, the company showed how the tiles, which can carry components or products, levitate by use of traveling magnetic fields generated in the planar tiles to move objects in any kind of pattern through different tracks. And the tiles can be programmed to move as needed for an application by automatically lifting, lowering, weighing, tilting, or rotating while they're traveling. Now, because the material handling tiles of the system float above the surface, Beckhoff said Explainar provides maintenance-free motion control for complex packaging, inspection, and material handling applications. Now, for life sciences, food and beverage, or other liquid CPG producers, an interesting feature of the Explainar system is its anti-sloshing functionality. Now, Jeff Johnson, who's a Mechatronics product manager at Beckhoff, told me that the Explainar anti-sloshing ability is enabled by the six axes of coordinated motion used on each mover. He said that Beckhoff has developed specific motion algorithms that create very smooth acceleration and deceleration profiles so that liquid products being carried on the movers don't slosh or spill while they're being moved. But in production environments where the Explainar system could be exposed to spills and splashes, Jeff said that the motor tiles can be coated with stainless steel, glass, or any other surface uh, to ensure that Explanar is sanitary and washdown capable. Now, to read more about Explanar, visit the URL shown here. Now, in the automation technology sector, there's been a lot of major acquisitions over the past several years now. And with most of them, the acquired technologies typically become added functionalities to existing hardware or software, and off software offerings from the acquiring company. But what I've been seeing out of Emerson Automation Solutions is a bit different. A couple of years ago, they acquired GE Intelligent Platforms, which made automation technologies largely for discrete manufacturing companies. And then just back in October, Emerson acquired Progea, a provider of industrial Internet of Things, plant analytics, human machine interface, and SCADA technologies. Now, Emerson gave PAC Expo Connects attendees a preview of its forthcoming PacEdge device that incorporates technology from the GE Intelligent Platforms and Progea acquisitions. This technology extension at Emerson is changing the company from one we all knew as a major technology supplier to the process industries to also being a major supplier to the discrete manufacturing and OEM industries. And this soon-to-be-released controller is designed to create a comprehensive data analytics, and control ecosystem, and it'll be known as PackEdge IIoT. Now, Derek Thomas, who's the VP of Sales and Marketing for Emerson's Machine Automation Solutions, told me that with this new controller, Emerson now has a standard package which can be used to do 3D machine visualization or full line visualization, as well as OEE and energy calculations. Now, he explained that today, if you wanted to have a controller plus IoT capabilities and OEE, you would have to have at least two different pieces of hardware and at least three different software packages from any one company. He said that Emerson is now the only company that can now do all of this in one device. Now, to read more about PackEdge, visit the URL shown here. Now, earlier I mentioned having first seen Beckhoff's Explainar system at an event in Europe prior to its North American introduction. Now, another technology that I first had a chance to see at a European event a little over a year ago now is ServiceNow's For Industry Connected Worker Platform. Now, For Industry Software grew out of the company's work with Heineken to create a platform for shop floor operators and engineers to interface with each other and the digital technologies they work with in the plant and to connect these operations across all plants so that they could standardize operation procedures globally. So, in essence, it's a technology that can be used in any kind of production operation. 
And Luke Reskin, the managing director with the company, explained to me that in its work with various companies now, they've realized that most factories tend to operate at 60% of uh, OEE, with the remaining 40% gap caused by equipment failures, problems with equipment setup and adjustments, machine idling and minor stops, use of reduced machine speeds, and process defects, of course. And Luke said these issues are often caused by day-to-day worker issues, such as the time it takes to find the manual to correct the problem, someone walking by a machine and noticing it was stopped, slow receipt of part replacements, or only one person in the plant really knowing how to correctly fix a piece of equipment. And these problems are made worse by the fact that plant floor workers use multiple different systems to do their work, such as SAP, Excel, manufacturing execution systems, and of course, numerous custom applications. So ServiceNow's four industry platform combines data from equipment and all these different systems to align operations, maintenance, quality, safety, and reporting processes. And it does this by integrating third-party systems such as ERP and MES and removing manual paper-driven workflows to reduce mean time to repair with digital standard operating procedures and assessments. Now, Luke explained that 4Industry is not used to fine-tune machines directly. Instead, it ensures that if a machine stops, the operator or engineer will have everything that they need to have uh, to get it running again at their fingertips. And he added that even though 4Industry is not a direct OEE improvement tool, the platform has been shown to deliver specific operational improvement results, such as a 17% increase in operator efficiency, through the use of mobile digital workflows, a 23% reduction in equipment breakdowns, and it does this by delivering mobile standardized procedures to the right people at the right time, a 20% improvement in safety by delivering standards and protocols directly to workers in hazardous environments, and a 45% improvement in industrial IoT initiatives through its ability to integrate IoT technologies with existing business workflows and helping users determine the context for the data. So, I hope you found this episode of Technology Matters interesting and that you'll check out these and other posts at automationworld.com. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do so now by clicking on the AWTV logo that you see at the bottom right-hand side of your screen. So we'll see you soon with the next installment of Automation World's Technology Matters. Mm -hmm.